So what types of, of toxicity are there? So we have acute toxicity, and that is going to happen extremely rapidly. Right? Um, what would be a type of acute toxicity? How about death? Death is a good one. Acutely lethal, instantly kills you. That, that, is, that would be an acute um, uh, effect. Okay? Something that um, immediately, you breathe it in, you immediately fall into um, uh, tremors uh, or something, uh, or a seizure. Uh, that would be an acute neurological effect. Um, you, you ingest something and you immediately get ill, uh, uh, violently ill. That would be a, a, a acute uh, effects. Okay, it's usually to a single dose or a series of doses received over a 24 hour period. Um, and obviously death is an acute uh, um, concern. Okay, when you start thinking about chronic toxicity, Chronic toxicity is something that happens over a longer period of time. Uh, it can build up. So ranging from what we call subclinical exposures, these things are lower doses over time. Sometimes you have cumulative damage that over time exceeds a certain threshold that brings about toxicity. Um, some of the types of uh, chronic toxicity is... Uh, People, uh, the, this epidemiology is the study of um, these types of effects um, across populations of, of people. So when we look at workers who had years of lead exposure, one of the, um, the chronic toxic effects is kidney disease. Chronic bronchitis and long-term uh, cigarette smoking, pulmonary fibrosis and uh, coal mines, black lung disease. So. Here we have um, large populations of people where you can actually um, measure these types of um, chronic toxic, uh, toxic effects. Now, lead, cigarette smoke, um, black lung disease. Why is it so difficult to have this type of data on the wide range of chemicals that we use uh, every day. Do you have these kind of controlled populations? So, so these types of, of studies, elucidating this for, um, for any type of, I don't know, element in the, in the ink on this uh, cup or things like that, you don't have uh, these types of populations which allow for the type of controlled study that you'd want to conduct uh, in order to come to these conclusions. Carcinogenicity. Uh, it's important to know that uh, even though we talk about cancer uh, in, in a very um, monolithic way, uh, that it is not only quite a wide range of um, I'll say quite a wide range of diseases, but it also has a, a multi-stage uh, process that has the common effect of having abnormal and rapid, um, rapid cell, uh, cell growth. Now there are many different stages. We're gonna highlight initiation and promotion. Uh, so chemical agents can help to initiate the uh, carcinogenesis process or it can promote the, the cancer process. These act by different mechanisms, but they're, all, they're both uh, extremely uh, important and necessary to, to cancer. 